But uh, gods, which which team do you want to go for? And do you want to give me a time prediction again? James, just can't Harris him down. It's too much HP region. 17.3 right now. Oh, mid lane, the double support rotation. This is why the, perhaps the Grimster kind of came in, but they've got the Pulse Nova, so he's actually going to turn around and Chuan gets the first blood for farm, himself. Hold that thought. Walk might be in a little bit of trouble. Gosh, follow up. They've body blocks, jabs. Oh, ho, ho. 900 Ravage to kind of help him out here. They get the deny. TNC, no, they can't defend it, but they can deny it, so. They're chasing the buck here. Yep. Oh, Jabs tried to Carapace, but he got the Impale instead. Ravage follow-up, RML, he face shifts it. RML, can he jaunt away? No, he got the Coil out. Does still go down here. Is there any follow-up from TNC? They get the Impale out onto Juan on the left track. The nice two hero soul bind. Pulls in DJ, DJ getting stunned up. Now he gets Hex as well. He can't help out his buddy. They pick up the left track with the Gabby life still a rotation. They want Jabs now as well. He doesn't have a Carapace for a couple of seconds. Gabby has to be careful. He infested the block, negating the Eclipse damage. Now the Breathe Fire doing some decent damage to get Raven low, force him back. They lose Lion on the back lines here. Death is just unkillable, at least to a certain extent. He may now find himself in four heroes. What can he do about it with the Puck respawning? It could spell trouble for him. Nice stun coming out onto Tim's as they are going to bring him down as well. Jabs cannot necessarily rely on that Vendetta. Going behind the tower and anything. Puck just blinking to clear some creeps. They follow up with the Dragon Tail. This should get shielded off. Schwan. Kept alive here. Bok, nice two hero Soulbind coming in from the Grimstroke. The Ravage from Death with the Blink reveal. He goes jumping in. They're going to look to try and burst down Bok. Gabby with a nice little best play to keep him alive a little bit long, but he still ends up going down. And now Tim's in the middle of things. Too far forward. Puck still trying to nuke him down. Gets the Nyx Assassin low, but there's not enough damage. To Usually you see this large into this build. Here we go. They're going high ground. Fnatic saying if they can get this tower, these. Blades will just bounce around. They get the nice blink ravage in. They're trying to blow up their life steal. They succeed in doing so. He doesn't get the rage up, but the turnaround is there. A three hero combo. The soul bind into absolute TNC destruction. They're going to look to chase down DJ as well. The saves just weren't there. There was just too much freaking damage as they kill Luna a second time. Here we go. Fnatic have smoked up with this BKB timing, though. They send a Lesh Illusion. That's going to scout out Boomy because he mana drains it. Now Shuan in the front lines with Electric has a BKB of his own. Blink in from Pock. Gets the Dragon Tail on Shuan. The Impale follow up is there. DJ trying to keep him alive with the Nyx borrowed out. The Finger of Death is there. A lot of damage coming up with the Coil onto two. Abaddon getting hit by the Soulbind as well. He can't keep Jabs alive. Shuan with the BKB. Life stealing a bit with the spells. Death with a nice Ravage takes out the Dragonite. Gabby luckily had the BKB. That helped keep him alive. He's got the Rage back up now as well. He's looking to go back in here. Death on the tide getting low, but. The heals just being too much from DJ for now. They want Chuan on the left track. He's trying to turn and fight. Looks for the split earth, won't get it. And with the DK buyback, the chase is on. Puck manages to orb away in a sliver of hell somehow. He keeps himself alive. Armel with the Yule Scepter now. He's managing to just juke his way through this one. The Bard up Nyx is in trouble. He's looking to get brought down by the life stealer. Gabby, does he have the damage? It's not enough just yet. The heals are there. Jabs, he's still alive. And with the silence on the life stealer, he's going to go down. He couldn't get the rage off. And he's Fnatic. looking to contest his Roche, but they're going to be here too late. Oh, are they? It's going to be close. Puck or being jointing in doesn't doesn't manage to get there. Are in time. You he was <laughs> that <laughs> these late game scenarios better than anyone, and they're the teams that the pressure seems to get to the least. Boomy, Blink, Ravage coming in, going to catch two on the high ground as well as the support lion. Death happy just to go jumping on in now with the box. DK jumps in with the BKB himself with a life stealer backup. The damage isn't there. On the ledge, and then he's the with the borrowed time. Oh, snap! They get the tide. Death is dead. That's a dieback as well. Schwan needs to be a little bit careful. The DK getting low. Bok trying to fly back to the high ground with the Infest healing him up a little bit. That's enough to keep him alive. And now the next target is Schwan's ledge track. DJ has to be careful in the Abaddon. He can't get too close without the borrowed time, but they're managing to win this fight with Raven's Loon doing so much damage. The Puck jumps back in. Gabby with the rage still up. He's trying to bring down the Nyx, but Nyx is hella tanky. And Puck actually gets brought down. Raven gets himself a triple kill. Tim's, Tim's. Careful. Can't really afford to get picked off. The blink in death doesn't go for the ravage. Tim's has not got the Aeon this yet. He's going to be the first target. He does have buyback, I believe. There's going to be a blink pop. Dragon tail. He catches out the back lines. He takes out Nyx, who's forced to immediately buy back the DK on the front lines. Once DJ, DJ will be a great pickup for them. That takes away so many of these saves. He doesn't have buyback. He's dead brave. The soul bind catching out too. Where's the dragon tail? The lucent beam stun pushing them back. And there's going to be a double hex into a double impale. They're absolutely getting destroyed. Gabby with the BKB rage as well. Chuan getting brought down on the Leshrac. Is the physical damage there? It's going to be close. And they bring him down before the TP. Oh no. Dead Leshrac without buyback. TNC have won a crucial fight here. And they may get more. Death's Lincoln Sphere. They're going to do so much for him. Damn. Standing above to the north. Can he make a play for the steal or a snipe here? 
Not sure they want to go for it. DK blinks in with the puck as well. They climb this. Not perhaps at the perfect Roshine climb. They're going to get they the ages onto Schwan's left track. Fnatic have the age. They can look to turn and fight. Box could be careful on the DK. Doesn't have BKB. He four stops. He gets back to the high ground. He's still alive on the DK. ENC want this Luna, but the cheese being popped. They heal it back up, and with the burrowed up Nixus assassin, they want to get the hell out of here. Boomy's lying in some trouble now, gets chased down. Looks like TNC just going to look to disengage, having already taken out the Aegis. I mean, that's, yeah, they may even want to consider selling it for something else. Sort like, of an upgrade. You can maybe protect yourself from a Dark Portrait, but that's a DJ. Oh, Link's done. DJ's been found. And they pull him up before the burrowed time. Nope. Could have maybe gone for a finger and tried to catch him by surprise, but they were ready for it. The Nyx Assassin, meanwhile, not able to sun up the life still. He managed to get the rage off. Now Bokko charging with the BKB. Nice coil on the three and with the axe, but they kind of completely suck it. This is Soul by the day goes to follow it up. TNC, Gabby in the front lines with the BKB as well as the rage. The Ravage is not going to connect on anyone except the DK further away. Life Stealer manages to infest his way out of there, comes back in, re-engages with the dead at and they want more puck. Actually managed to die in the back lines. They got the lockdown they needed, Gabby. Can he finish off jabs here on the Nyx? Has he's got the Aeon disc. The Nyx is just unkillable, it feels like. <laughs> yep. He's just too tanky. Gabby goes charging back in with the blink dagger. He wants Schwan on this Lesh Rack, but he's too tanky himself. That's tight as the new target, but he's got Ghost Scepter. Nothing to get rid of it. The three man mana drain coming in from the, the line who goes in for a finger of death. Not enough damage on the tide. He's just trying to finish him off the orb. He can't actually finish off death. Death somehow blinks back in. He's still alive, but Nick's going down, and now Gabby, he's trying to just wreak havoc. The Wind Waker, Leshrak, he's trying to fly his way out of there. It's Tornado Alley as the Dagon brings the Leshrak low. Gabby's still Watch chasing it. forward. This, this life still is just unkillable. He's just constantly full health. Puck's still fishing for more on the back lines. Isn't going to succeed in doing so. Lion dies and buys back immediately. Nyx is still finding a new place to burrow on down. If they get this Nyx, that's a dieback, but he's tucked away nice and deep, Gabby. Oh, as he got the damage to get this kill, the Split Earth coming out, stunning up Bok, who has a BKB in two seconds, but he won't get a chance to pop it. He's dead without buyback. Luna buying back now as well. Gabby looking to turn and fight. Doesn't have Satanic, doesn't have a way to life steal his way through this one. We'll go down and Raven has a triple kill. Split Earth onto the high ground. They catch out Tim's. Tim's dead now as well with buyback. And Fnatic making good use of their buyback yeah, support here. Does fight. not have buyback. Yeah, they're too late for this one, it feels Are like. They? But they're still trying to take this fight. Grab it. We'll start Gabby charging in. Looking to start this fight. Gets stunned up by the Impale. The Split Earth follow-up. Gabby's stunned. Oh. He's dead. It's a dieback. Oh! Jabs was ready for him. Got him with the carapace set up. Now the puck needs to find a way out. Armel, has he got the damage? He's going to carry this game on his own. And he's in two versus four here. Goes blinking back in. Won a DJ, but didn't have the damage to bring him down with the borrowed time being proc. Armel needs to find these skills. Oh, Tim's is eating it. Tim's got to be careful. He gets the Dark Portrait out. That he's could dead. be a game changer. Tim's is getting low. Can he keep himself alive? No, he can't. He's dead. And now the tier four tower goes down as well as the throne next in line as Armel trying to defend this on his own. But there's nothing he can do. Fnatic. They're going to take game one of this best of three. They lose the Abaddon. Armel getting another for the scoreboard, but I actually know they did agree. No. Okay. Puck's dead. He died top. They have to fight through backdoor protection. Can they do this? I believe they should be able to with the Edict as well as the Luna damage. Black. 25 Edict, no problem, right? Yeah, it's DG. No buyback. Game over. Fnatic. <laughs> Woo! I have no problem farming down there either. Yeah, I mean... By the way that you guys have made it sound, it's essentially... Falls over the trees for now. They've got the wave back though, so if anything... Storm Team missing for a long time, they kind of know he's missing, but they're going to zip in onto Box. Falls under the press attack for now, but the snap right cookie stun is going to be there in Box. Nice. The Fnatic will go for a smoke. He already lost his mid-tier on tower, but Remember another again? Gabby would be huge. From the Storm, there is a Sunray heal. Took the follow-up, it is going to catch the Southern Gabby, but where is Death with a blink call onto two? The follow-up arrow is going to bring down the TP before he can even use the Sun to Death with the perfect initiation plays. Chasing, looking for more, but the Snowball is there from Tim. Just to stunt the act, but he's still getting lower. Dunk should be coming soon, and Death is going to be looking to use his movement speed to chase for more. The Kisses going to clip a couple of these heroes, gets Boomy low. No, it's all the egg going to be used with it. Fall from death, he does make a nice little turnaround play with Armel getting the Mirana kill on that will force Fnatic back, but they've already lost their TB for a second time back to back. back off a little bit, they don't want to get caught here. Storm could go for a zip, but TNT who smoked themselves up as well. Tim's immediately pops it, but he gets helped out by the press attack, gets the snowball off the call, it's gonna miss! 
The kiss is raining in from above, but a good place for the egg. There's nothing to actually hit it for now. The bubble's there to help protect the axe. Gabby looks for a new target. Death gets out of it, caught by the egg stun. Falling back into Shuan, looking for the kill onto Bok. We'll get him with an immediate buyback. Axe wants back in on this fight. Shuan on the axe, he's out on the storm, is out of mana. As Armel damage. getting brought so low, and Jabs is going to go leaping and look to finish off these kills. Armel, he gets back to safety. He needs to play out, but he the leaps. Jabs, he actually snipes the tiny. And now Storm is trying to get the hell out of it. Doesn't have any mind to play around with the Arc Warden. He gets chased down. Gabby is just doing too much up against the Sunder off. He gives me the Storm as well. He's killed off both the carry and the mid. Gabby doesn't have a Sunder though. Now he's in trouble with the death buyback on the axe. It should be enough to help bring him down. The cookie Sunder is there, and Gabby. No dunk to worry about. With the Storm buyback, he's going to be picked off. And Bok himself from the Legion Commander, he just fought back. This could be a dieback for him. Fnatic, once again, similar to last game, using these buyback no, so well now. Like he shadow bladed. He's going to pop this, or at least scout them out. The arrow comes flying in as well. Legion walks into it. Uh-oh. Armel still looking for the back line. See if they throw the egg out. Can they protect this one? Raven in there with... Oh, God, that egg just melted in no time at all, but they're going to take casualties. Axe goes down. Meanwhile, Bok and the Legion Commander after taking the arrow guys as well. Raven, his clone, going to die first. They want the Mirana, who gets the leap away. It stays alive for now. This TB Metamorph is wearing off, so I think TNC has to be a little bit careful. They're still trying to finish off Roche. They feel like they've got enough time before Fnatic gets back, and this is so risky, and they're going to realize they can't do this against the Storm. Storm falls in. Luckily, TNC had already gotten out for the Tiny. He gets caught. The Pressy attack going to bail him out. They get the catch with the Warrior's Punch. Just the damage there. The call from Death. Axe! Saving the day, he wants Armel, but he gets a Shadow Blade off before a dunk can come in, and Death may pay the price for saving his storm. Either perhaps. Yeah, it's a lot of him in space right now. Oh, they waited a second to blink it. Oh, it's Raven's clone that goes in. Meanwhile, jabs on the back line. He steals it. Good news, I guess, for TNC is that and the storm DJ. doesn't get it. And yeah, DJ's dead once. They should be able to get him a second time. They lost the tusk in the process, but he instantly gets stooled on respawn, and Gabby with the BKB be able to see this one. BB's the ping. Oh. Armel, he goes in aggressive. That's the BKB, but gets caught before he can perhaps pop it. The Pressy attack is there for, to bail him out a little bit. It was Box. BKB Jewel, he goes in, he wants the axe here. Armel trying to turn and fight this one. Has a BKB of his own. There's the egg. Plays very defensively with the Sunray. And with that one on Raven's clone, I believe they're going to bring that one down. And Raven doesn't have that Tempest double to fight for with for a couple more seconds. But he's got it back up now with that low cooldown and long duration. So... If either team's able to go back in, TNC with that vision advantage, that ward on the high ground. Two wards around this top side of the map, causing all kinds of problems. Gonna jump in. DJ, he just melts. Chuan with the blue hole catches out two, pulls him in. TP's dead, doesn't get a chance to thunder. Tiny dies as well. Great jump from Fnatic. They're making this work when Boomy gets sunk through the A on Disc and Storm. He's so rich. He sees the direction this game is going and it's like, yep, I'm gonna be another core for us. Gabby and Armel. Storm zips in, pulls the Tiny. Him to there looking for a snowball to help him out, but the Tiny gets the BKB off the right clicks coming from the Arc Warden on the low ground. They're going to get the Jewel out. Axe may go down here, but he's got the Aegis just for this very purpose. So, just an Aegis. Can they kill him a second time? Armel has an Avalanche perhaps waiting for him as he respawns. The Sunray there doing good damage as well with the Egg. Can they kill the Supernova? I don't think so. It's positioned well on the high ground. Death going to get pulled back in. He goes down. The Egg popped and stuns everyone. They overcommitted trying to get the Egg, but a great Vortex on to three. Oh, Fnatic. They catch everyone, but they're dying in the process. They've overcommitted here. Gabby's TP doing too much damage. Schwan, he tries to TP out, but he gets caught. Tim's with the Blink Walrus Punch. He stops the TP out. Raven's going for the buildings, but he can't do much more. Buybacks coming in from TNC. If stop Chuan's TP, they know this storm can't TP. I, know, I see a five five second arrow hit at 55 minutes. I'm I'm thinking, oh shit, this could be bad. Abby forced. They keep getting forced to blink on this clone. Blinking with a two-man vortex. The fall up is there. Death with the cold, but the snowball save. Nice plays by the tusk. Abby. Holding his own here. Now they get the jewel. It's out onto Jabs. Jabs in trouble. He's just gonna die here. They get the Mirana. And Phoenix has respawned now. He's got the egg out in the middle of things and nobody's hitting it. Way pushing. Something TNC haven't done so much is, yeah, that kind of split push. But they're going to look to jump in. Tim's goes looking. They want this Mirana, who does get jeweled up, even with the BKB, gets chased and caught off. And the back line is going to be the tiny. The tosses. They have the storm. What? Double toss, storm? triple toss, quadruple toss. It's just toss after to toss. To I mean, this is crazy Dota, but I don't think we need Arc Warden ever again. Here we go, jump in, they get the vision, they look for the arrows, they're not going to connect immediately. Armel gets helped out by the pressy attack, TP in now coming from the boots to travel too. I think Terrorblade was looking scanning. for that. Yep, they get the scan that allows the blink call, they catch Armel's tiny, is the pressy attack there. Bok BKBs to help Armel out, the kiss is raining in from above, Boomy's Aeon is protecting destroy. him. And with the Sunray, they lose the axe, that Sunray just doing too much, Armel gets away with the Shadow Blade. They're going to lose the clone now as well, and TNC... Imagine TB with that meta range, 25. 
Fast Ballista. They want to go in, but the bubble is there. They get the vision on the back lines here. The arrow actually catches Fox Legion. He can't save anyone for now. And the follow-up Vortex is there. Jabs just goes leaping in, looking to do as much damage as he can with the BKB Mirana. He finishes off the Tiny. Death gets sunned up on the Axe, and they've taken out two. The triple arrows just wreaking havoc. Usually you don't see this. Usually you see the Moonlight Shadow cooldown, but these arrows are landing and making a big difference. Tusk, he gets the blink after the snowball, but he's still going to go down. And Raven with the BKB on the high ground. Gabby just getting pushed back. Now he gets pulled in. He gets helped out by the Presti attack, though. Now There's he gets satanic, pulled up yeah. with the Satanic up. Oh, into a call. They get him with the jewel. Axe, death. He's overstayed. Yes, ghost He's welcome in this Radiant base. Now the kisses come raining in. DJ trying to cover him for the retreat. Jabs on the front lines with the BKB. They're going to force out an egg. Can they actually kill this Phoenix in time? Boomy, he goes down. He has the buyback immediately. TP forced to buy back. Bok just dying. This Ballista, Raven just unstoppable, keeping everybody at bay. They have to get on top of Raven. Raven trying to maneuver around these tosses. Gabby going in. Got to be careful. The Vortex is there, and he's just dead. No buyback. Just dead. TP, Boomy forced to egg because an arrow is about to hit him, and they're just going to focus down this egg as well as RML, who's getting low as well. This could just be game over for dead. It's about to be a team wipe, and Fnatic, they've done it, Black. They get the 2-0, an epic best of three going the way of the kings of Southeast Asian Dota region. They may have not had the results they were looking for during the DPC season, but...